All right, so I don't want you to talk about the moustache. Um, George thought it would be a good idea, and I um, don't know, yeah, I don't know, I haven't quite worked that out. But today, we're going to be doing a little video talking about uh, portfolios, as portfolios are pretty, pretty damn important. We've talked about making show reels and all that kind of jazz, but portfolios isn't really something that we've jumped too deeply into, uh, wholly because I didn't know about this thing that I'm going to show you today existed until today. And when I talk about portfolios, I don't mean show reels. I mean a portfolio, a genuine, a genuine place that you can have to have all of your stuff. And and I found something just scouring the net uh, of kind of things that might help you guys out, and it's pretty damn good. And it is basically an alternative to something like Squarespace, but it's way easier. Like so much easier. Location change, location change. And that could be for any different thing that you wanna do. It might be the fact that you are an artist and you want to have a place to put your art that isn't Instagram and stuff like that. And basically a home of your CV. And that's what this thing is beautiful for. So let's jump straight to the computer and actually find out what I'm banging on about because pff, it could be a waste of time. It actually isn't. This plant right here that Georgia has above above the bed, uh, once she's watered it, it drips on my head. It's like it's like torture. It's horrendous. And so now we're here at the desk. I'm gonna show you exactly what I was talking about. And so what I found was this website called Portfolio Box. Portfolio Box was something that I had no idea that it existed until I did a little bit of research before kind of committing to this whole uh, concept and this whole idea. And that was that Portfolio Box is made for creators, for people who want to create an online portfolio, which is one of the key standards. So maybe when you're showing clients your work or showing people what you can do and just building up a essence of uh, you existing a portfolio is exactly what you need and portfolio box has the portfolio name which must be good for some reason so if we go over to build a website and then there's a lot, obviously a lot of different uh, things but what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna click on build a website create your site and then we're gonna go to website title make it obviously your name whatever that is so if I'm just gonna put in Charlie uh, test profession uh, does that uh, other. I'm just going to make a side account now. I'm guessing you ought to be 16. I said you can't do this if you're under 16. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why. You can pick your font, pick your uh, color of the background. So just before we go into this, this is a basically a very simplified version of something like Squarespace. Squarespace is hands down incredible for everything that it does, but it is like a multiple pied puzzle. This is just one honed kind of idea and an easier way for a lot of people who don't have the time or or skills to make something on say Squarespace even though it is a little bit it, it is easy but it's not uh, if somebody who's literally just built a, a Squarespace website it, okay it can get a bit complicated when you're getting into it but this is just easy okay so uh, let's just get started uh, it's got loads of tutorials which um, <laughs> I don't look at tutorials and so here we are, we've, we've got our fresh page, uh, we create a new page and we have a load of things to basically choose from, a load of like presets. And if I go into something like a cover and a header, so I want to be introduced, I want to introduce somebody to, uh, to the website and introduce them nicely. So I'm going to go with, I'll go for something like this, page title, main to menu and then here we go we've got charlie test we can change the uh, the title of the website here so uh if we just put in charlie rollins okay so we've got a first page here it's really easy uh to use there's if you're hoping to delve into some kind of you know website creation and all that jazz uh this probably isn't the isn't the software for you or the app for you there is other things out there but if you just want to create a simple website then this is perfect and I'm going to show you why. So already on here, we've got the main thingy. If I want to edit image, go to change content, change the picture, add image or video. So we can see that it gives us for free 50 images. So if I select files from a computer and I just find a cool shot that I've got, say I'm going to use this one upload it and use selected item. And there we go. We've got our first head it uh, our opening. Um, to our website. Hello there. Blah, blah, blah. We'll keep uh, Lorium Ipsum. I don't even know how to say that. Welcome to Explore. Cool. We can also use things like the social media links where we can change each link. 
and it's easily doable there. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've said this, uh, the video isn't sponsored. I just like it. So we've got our main image. Let's go to our next bit, which we're going to want something um, where we can show off some key features of our work and some of our favorite pieces. So that's what I would say is, what is somebody gonna first look at when they come into set? What are your standout pieces? So let's go to gallery, say square ratio, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit images, change content. Do I wanna remove the sample content? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it just for the sake of this, this tutorial. It might look like, oh, okay, well, what about my videos? So what you can do is you can go to add images or video. I can go to import from either Vimeo or YouTube. It does recommend video, Vimeo because it won't have the uh, YouTube time thingy. It will look a bit cleaner. And just for example, I'm going to go to, talking Charlie Rowlands, what pops up? Hey. I'm gonna put in, I made a film, Oh yeah, okay, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the film that I've made, and obviously it will say cover image uh, will be displayed uh, before the video is played. The cover image cannot be changed once the video is added. Okay, so that basically means uh, it, it might look a bit squished and a bit crap, but let's change the cover image and pick a new image for that to go into. You do have to add the image before, which is a bit annoying, but we can we can work with that. Okay, so so before you change the thumbnail of a video you're going to upload, you need to upload the thumbnail first and then you can change it. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm going to use selected item and there we go. So if I go to change content, just remove one of these so it stays in a four. And then every time somebody clicks on that, it will launch the film, which is uh, good. So obviously you can have a couple of pieces of your, you know, your work here. Um, you can do stuff like change the header uh, kind of style, which is pretty cool. It's always helpful. So if I, I like something more thinner like that. And then this is the main reason why I want you to do this. So you can add obviously multiple pages and you can have a page of just your gallery and just your videos and unique videos, spend as much time as you want on this. But this is the reason why this is now probably one of the best things. And what I would say is the new form of CV. And if I go to add new section, then click on CV, you can obviously see that we've got multiple different CVs that we can add in here. And this is the one that kind of, uh, this is the reason why this, this really stuck out to me and how easy Easy this is to create. So already we've got a complete CV uh, structure right out here where all we need to do is fill in. So we can obviously change uh, this piece of content. So if I change this image and add a new picture of me. So if we use my YouTube picture, there we go. We can obviously change everything that we need to here. Uh, change Charlie Rowlands. Oh, bloody hell, I just accidentally clicked on that, bug off. Uh, Charlie Rowlands, uh, we, and then we can change stuff. And it's got this kind of thing, which is skills, which I see some people using, and it's just, it, it just looks really good. So what you can do is you can uh, fill all these into different things, like Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh God, right properly, Charlie. And then you can change your kind of level. So in the background of this of this recording, you can kind of see the little line moving up and down. And I know it's stupid and simple, but that's so helpful. And it's helpful for somebody to just instantly look at you and see, okay, this is what this person believes that they excel in. So if I change another one to After Effects, uh, uh, Adobe After Effects, another one to uh, Adobe Auditon, Auditon, and then we'll whack Adobe Photoshop on that. It's always good to say Adobe because some people just don't get it. And now what I can do is I can change my level for each of these. So I might not be as proficient and this is about being honest to yourself. So I could be saying, okay, I'm okay at audition. I'm not fantastic, I'm okay, but I'm all right at Photoshop. Okay, and click done. And already instantly there, a employer or somebody can see uh, what we believe we're better at. And you know, it might be different for every single person. So don't just say you're fantastic at everything because then it just looks unbelievable. And then also don't say that you're not good at anything because then it's, it's just not gonna help you. But this is just a nice looking way for you to have, say your CV all presented. And it, it, it looks really nice and good. You can add like loads of different animations. So I could say for this section, edit section, and then styles, and then go down to animations, and I could do this one that looks all right in focus in. So that kind of, you know, fits with your, with your vibe. So they'll be introduced to your website, have a nice focus in, get to click on your videos. Fantastic. 
and there you go and now we come to the pricing part of it is it financially finan is it financially doable okay so if we go to upgrade here so we should have a light version so if i click publish and search from that it should give me some ideas of a domain that we can have now we want to get the domain unfortunately because there's no free version and you have to have a domain so that means supporting it so that means you have to upgrade and the cheapest option that they allow is light you've got light pro and pro plus pro is the one that i've got going for my current website uh, but for this example i'm going to just look at the light version with that you get 50 image slots, 10 pages, 10 client gallery images, and 10 products. So for a lot of people, that's that's perfectly fine. So let's have a look at it, and it just tells us that we, you know, we can't actually get a normal donate domain. So monthly, the most flexible plan that's going to cost is four pounds a month. That's literally a cup a, a cup of coffee. It, that is so ridiculously cheap. Five bucks. Five bucks, four dollars, five bucks forty. Okay, to be to be perfectly honest, I know a lot of people out there don't really want to spend any money at all, but four five dollars is 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 nothing really if you're wanting to do this as a career and actually wanting to get jobs and wanting to have a better uh, front case that that's absolutely fine i'm paying ten dollars to have a, a dot com charlie rodan's website so you kind of have to weigh out the importance of everything if having a website and, a, and an online portfolio in a place for you to have all your work over one cup of coffee a a, a, a month then you should be weighing out what you're putting your time and money and effort into so that's basically portfolio box I, I just wanted to kind of show you guys kind of what I found and and how this can help you and if it does please let me know down below please also link websites that you've made down in the comment section I don't know if you can actually or maybe go to the discord and we'll share them on the discord if you can't then we'll, we'll see okay ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me on today's episode I hope this video helped you in some way and helped clear some of the air on creating an online CV in a portfolio if you've enjoyed this video make sure to uh, hit the like button subscribe and do all the other jazz stuff we do much more kind of videos on this page so with no further ado i'm gonna take a breath and i will see you in the absolute next one no.